Okay, ladies and gentlemen, Paul Chamberlain, the Air Force guy, coming to you from Beckley's Cambridge Center today. And we're going to talk to you about a comparison of the Little Guy Max versus the Mini Max. Kind of give you a kind of a rundown of the specification and pricing and so forth. For more information on these campers or any other RV, be sure if you call, if you email, or if you stop by Beckley's Camping Center, you ask for Paul the Air Force guy, but let's get on to these campers. So let's talk about the different specs. So when you, first of all, you're gonna notice when you're looking at the Max versus the Mini Max is obviously the Max is a little bit longer taller and a little bit wider. Now let's talk about that. So the Max is going to be 20 foot, 21 feet in length versus the Mini Max is 17 feet 2 inches. When we're talking about height, the Max is just over 9 feet, so it's 9 foot 1 inch and that'll be to the top of the AC versus the Mini Max is 8 foot 6 inches. Width wise, you're going to be just at seven feet, maybe a little bit wider when you have that awning on the outside of the max, and you're gonna be under seven feet, you're gonna be six foot nine inches on the mini max as far as the width. Now when we're talking about weights, the max is gonna come in at a dry weight of about 3,200 pounds, where the mini max will come in just under 2,000 pounds. So quite a difference, about 1,200 pounds difference on the uh, dry weight. Gross vehicle weight rating on your max will be 3,800 and on the mini max you're looking at a 2,900 pound gross vehicle weight rating. Now let's talk about tongue weights. On the tongue weights on the max you're going to be over 400 pounds of tongue weight. Uh, that's with battery and propane. You're going to be about 440. On the mini max although I have not actually done a weight uh, on it but you know they're showing on the brochure of 280 keep in mind that you must add for the battery and propane so that'll be another 65 pounds on those with the batteries that we use and you, you, so forth uh, your holding tanks identical holding tanks on the max and the mini max so you're looking at 20 gallons for fresh water 14 for gray 9 for black now for interior height on the Max you have 6 foot 7 and on the Mini Max you have 6 feet. So that kind of gives you some specifications. Now what I'm going to do is kind of give you some rundowns and we're going to talk about some comparisons going back and forth. So on your Max, as you can see your kitchen area, you're going to have a two burner cooktop. You have the sink with a high rise faucet and a nice deep sink there as well. Of course then you're going to have nice cabin space inside here. And of course you have the microwave up, ab up above. So this is the Max. Let's go show you the Mini Max. So on the Mini Max, as you can see we're going to have the two burner cooktop as well. You're going to have the same sink, same high rise faucet, as you can see the same large sink bowl there, nice and deep, cutting board on top. Now obviously because we're a little bit shorter, not as wide, you're not having as much as far as storage, but you still have some great storage. And you can see you have a drawer down below the uh, kick plate there. So this is in the uh, Minimax. So the microwave, two burner cooktop, and the sink has the same components just a little bit less storage. So now let's talk about refrigeration. In the Max, you're going to have a four cubic foot refrigerator and it is a three-way refrigerator. It is by Dometic, all the controls up top. So this is going to give you refrigerator as well as freezer space. Of course, freezer space right up here. So this is the refrigerator in the Max. So the refrigerator in the Mini Max is going to be from Norcold. This is going to be a five cubic foot refrigerator, but it's pretty cool how they have this thing set up. So let me just open this up so you can take a look inside. So you can see you have your have the nice storage on the doors. 
and then there's a freezer up top. Nice thing with this freezer up top, as you can see, you have the nice little ice maker. Didn't come with the regular Max. And then you have a nice little crisper down below that you have, that you're able to put down below. You put your cold beverages down there or some fruits and vegetables. So this is the Norcold three-way refrigerator, but it's five cubic foot in the Mini Max. So both of the um, Max and the Mini Max is gonna have the same systems monitor on the inside. You're gonna have a porch light, the step handle light, uh, you're going to have your interior light switch, water pump, water heater. Only difference in the Max is you're going to have this awning light. That will be the only difference. You will still will have this monitor here, which will be for your um, battery. I'm sorry, not your battery, but for your fresh water tank, your black, and your gray. The LP part on there does not register because it is a 20-pound tank. You need 30 pound tanks in order for that to register. So this is a system monitor. You'll see both is pretty much the same in the Max and the Mini Max. So in the Max, what you're gonna have, you're gonna have this stereo from Furion. This is an upgraded model over the one that is currently in the Mini Max. The benefit of this particular model is the fact that you have you still have outside and inside speakers like the Mini Max. However, the difference is you can control the volume for each of the zones, meaning if you want to have the speakers on the inside, it will not have to be as loud as it is on the outside. So it's an AM FM CD stereo with a DVD player, as well as Bluetooth capable. So that's the stereo. Now let's talk about the TVs uh, in the Max. In the Max, you're going to have back here, you have a TV. Now the soundboard down below works with the DVD player. Well, this is for your back, back here, and so you have one TV. You can take this TV outside if you wish. And then, of course, you have another one up in the front here. Now, you can see that when you're not using it, it's out of the way, and all you need to do, if you want to bring it up, you just push the button, and your TV will present itself. And there you go. Now, let's go take a look at the Minimax. So your Furion AM FM CD stereo with a DVD player is right here. You have access to have speakers on the inside or outside. Of course, just like all the others, you're going to have headphone jack, USB, auxiliary, Bluetooth capable. It's also a DVD player. So you can see your speakers are on the inside up top here on the kitchen, but then on the outside, you'll have speakers as well, and you can control that. You see the TV is back here. Now, the difference with the TV in the Mini Max is this is a 12-volt TV. So if you're going to want to put a TV on the outside, you need to have a separate monitor and one that is 110. Now, both your Max and your Mini Max are going to have your solar charger. It's an option. Um, with your panel on, on top. Now, obviously, you can get more solar panels on a Max versus the Mini Max. That's because you have um, more uh, roof space up top here. And then, of course, you're going to have your Dometic. There's going to be your Dometic thermostat right here. That'll handle your heat, your AC, and, of course, the fan for, the, uh, for your air conditioner. Both are also going to have the 13.5 air conditioning unit by Dometic, and it's going to have the same thing as far as for the furnace. You're going to have a gas pot powered, well, 12 volt fan for your furnace. Now, both the Max and the Mini Max are going to have the same shower as of right now. Uh, and I know that there's a lot of people that are um, not too happy with the fact that it's, you know, a see through door. However, there's been many people out there, and please, please do check. Uh, the Facebook page for Little Guy uh, Max and Mini Max, and there's a lot of people using some really cool stuff to go ahead and make that um, where it is not see-through, and I think it, it really uh, decorates their trailers very well. Now, in the future, you're going to see a change to that in the Max. Not sure what they're going to be doing for the Mini Max, but this is going to be the, your shower. You see the showers back up above. It's adjustable. You're also going to have your toilet paper holder back here. Nice area. And here's the other th nice thing that they do is notice that, that your material here, it's nice hard plastic, whereas some of the other manufacturers, you're going to have the same wall that's right here, which is wood. 
with a little bit of uh, wallpaper on it, they'll have that in there. Now in your Max, you're going to have, of course, the ceiling fan. Well, I say ceiling fan. It's your power vent fan up above it. And, of course, that can pull all the, all the steam and so forth out of here. Let's go take a look at how they have the Mini Max set up. So you see, as you come in the Mini Max, the door's directly across from you. It's going to be set up a little bit different. You can see they have, you have your uh, shower up in the front here, of course. But now look at the pouches that they have in the Mini Max. You put stuff in there. Of course, you're still going to have the toilet. And you're going to have your toilet paper holder. Now, in here, the 12-volt power vent fan is on the outside. It's right up here. Nice thing with the Mini Max or the Max is the fact that the door, you go out, step outside here, is your door is able to, you're able to open up this door, the window in the door to give you ventilation. And of course you have the screen that you can pull down and that's right in the door. So you don't have to open up one of the larger windows. Now in your Max, you're gonna have a dinette booth and a bed. This dinette um, booth that you have here is 32 inches across and, se well, width-wise, and uh, length is going to be 76 inches. So it's kind of a nice little feature if you need it as an additional bed. But it's a nice, good-sized table, portable, so you can put that outside if you wish. And, of course, you can have storage up underneath this side. Now, when you're taking a look at the bed in the Max, that is a real queen mattress. It's 60 by 80. So the nice thing about that, if for some reason you do not like the mattress that's coming from Liberty Outdoors, you are able to go ahead and take that mattress out and get a mattress that is more uh, suitable for your particular needs. Now let's take a look at what we have offered in the Minimax. Okay, so you have a few more options when you're in the Minimax uh, as far as sleeping is concerned. And basically what you have is, you can have two different twin beds here, and the length you're gonna have, you're gonna have um, 70 inches in length, and you'll have about 24 inches in width. So if that works for you. If you wanna make it a queen bed, you're gonna have 76 inches across, and this way will be 70 inches. Um, depending on how tall you are, and maybe you didn't want to move the table or anything, maybe you want to leave everything okay, and maybe it's just one person, you also have this mattress back here, which is going to be 76 inches across, as well as about 20, 26 inches wide. So you have a few different options when you're in the Minimax. Now, you say, well, Paul, how do you make this thing a queen bed? Let me show you. And by the way, that would be an RV queen, being 70 by 76. So what you're going to do is, underneath here, you're going to have these locks as you can see and so this one allows you to twist the table okay so it's unlocking that the next one that you unlock what that's going to allow you to do is push this down as a telescoping table so you just push these tables down lock both of the both of those and then we're just going to pull out see how nice and easy that pulls out and you're just going to take the cushions from the side. And there you have it. You have your 70 by 76 inch queen bed. To put it away, it's just the reverse. Very, very simple. We'll just move the cushions out of the way. As you can see, you can see into the storage area there. You can get to that, you can get to that through by lifting up the back cushion. Just goes in there. Both of those come up, get your cushions in position, lock them both, and you've got a sturdy tape. So this is your bed options for the Minimax. Okay, let's start talk storage between the two. So in the Max, as you can see, you're going to have this nice pantry area. It's going to give you all kinds of pantry room. That's to the right of your cooktop area. Down below your bed there, you're going to have a nice deep storage drawer. On the opposite side, if you want to call it of the hallway, you're going to have your nice little wardrobe. So you can put things in there. So that's that. Then, above your 
refrigerator, you've got a nice little storage bin. As well as down below, I mean that is a deep, a large deep drawer. You can see it's a full extension drawer glide. On this side you're going to have drawers. So this one is going to be for your silverware. And then you'll have two other ones which you can see are very, very large. A little nice little area to put your sponges. And then of course you're going to have storage up underneath your sink. Now in the front area you'll have little cubbies on either side of your seat. So you know if you have a bed, you know you get the outlet right there, you can set your phone or something. You'll have that on both sides. And of course you have the stereo speakers up top here and storage all along the top. You can see the lighting up there and up on this side. And then of course above your kitchen sink you'll have additional storage. So that's the storage on the inside of the max and one other thing here before I before we get out and show you the outside is you're gonna have the storage which is gonna be up underneath the bench seat here now you will not have storage on that side uh, per se because you have um, equipment under it now let's show you the outside storage so your outside storage as you can see is massive goes from side to side you know put a lot of stuff under here you even have storage for your um, sewer hose. So that is the outside. Notice how the door is held up by a magnet. Let's go take a look at our Minimax. Okay, so on your Minimax, what you're going to have is you're going to have this is going to be your pantry, and it has adjust two adjustable shelves in there. As you can see there. Underneath here you're going to have a little bit of storage here but also you have a little bit of storage up on top there if you lift this cushion you can get to that little bit of storage area so that's going to be on the inside and then on either side you're going to have this little cubby down below your refrigerator let me back up here show you what you've got under and again a nice little storage area and then as we showed you earlier with your kitchen area you're going to have a little place here for sponges and so forth. I mean, they've utilized every bit of storage here to, uh, to give you room for storage. And notice how it's all hardwood that they're using. They're not using any of the particle board like some of the other manufacturers. Underneath your microwave, you've got a full extension drawer glide. And then even down under here, you're going to have another little shelf there. Let's go to the outside and show you what we've got. So this is the outside storage for the Minimax. Quite a large amount of storage space. Now on the other side of there is going to be your water heater, so that's why it's boxed off there. But you can get to that from the inside. And again, your door is held up by a magnet. So the outside of your Max, of course you can see of the awning, you have your light, nice lit handle to get inside. Two stereo speakers, you can take your TV from the inside, bring them outside here, and you've got the uh, 110 connection as well as connection for cable or uh, for your DVD player using the HDMI. So this is the outside of your Max. Now this one, it has the off-road package, which you can get on the uh, Mini Max as well. So let's go over and take a look at the Mini Max. So other than the height, length and so forth, the Mini Max looks very similar to the regular Max. You can have your outside stereo speakers, you can hook a TV up here. The only difference when you hook a TV up on the Mini Max is that because you have a 12 volt um, <clears throat> TV on the inside, you will need to have a separate TV for the outside and you'll be able to plug it into 110. But the stereo speakers out here, and both of them, and I did not point this out on the Max, but both of them have an LP connection for an outside grill. Now taking a look at the windows, all these windows are going to be dual pane. Whenever you stop by, do feel these windows. Uh, it, they do add insulation factor. And the other nice thing about the way that the, the Max and the Mini Max do it is that these windows are heavily tinted, which is going to give you additional privacy during the day. So you see the nice uh, lit uh, handrail 
as you're going in, as well as a nice bright, look at how bright that light is on the outside. Now, some differences you're going to notice on the front is the fact that with the Max, you're going to have a power tongue jack. Now, this jacket bike rack is available for the Mini Max. It just goes right up underneath the tongue jack. And you could always put a power tongue jack on the Mini Max. But you can see that you have the LP bottle cover, which is going to match the trim for the particular um, model that you have. So if you have the silver, as you see it's silver, if it's red, black, blue, it's just going to match. As of right now, they do not have one that is a uh, rock guard looking style um, LP cover. For the front of the Mini Max, as you see, you're going to have the regular manual style tongue jack. You can always put a power tongue jack on there, but you can see, other than it being a little bit smaller, the LP battery box is identical. Now, something that they do different uh, than what the Max does is for your uh, sewer hose, they actually put your sewer hose uh, tube on the outside right here up underneath the tongue, which is a little bit cleaner, a little bit easier to get to and so forth. Not having to worry about that being inside at all. So on the off-door side, what you're going to see on both, and they're going to be uh, pretty much identical, you're going to notice that you're going to have a light, as you can see there, has a nice bright light, so if in fact you do get to a campground when it's dark out, and, and trust me ladies and gentlemen, I know that never happens, but just in case it does, it's there for you. You're going to have your 30 amp cord, you'll have your hookup for your uh, water here, this is your cable. The one difference with the regular Max is the fact you're going to have an antenna on the roof, but for those of you with the Mini Max, you can always plug an antenna, an HD antenna into that and receive local channels. So this is the Atwood water heater, which is awesome. Using both gas and electric, that'll give you almost 18 gallons of hot water an hour. And then both are going to have the outside shower. 